Hello everyone, I'm Tilly Douglas and today in my video I'm going to show you how I glazed these paintings. I did five paintings and they just look beautiful. They've got a lovely, lovely shine on them and they turn out so beautifully. So I'm going to show you how I glaze those today and I've used this gloss medium by Liquitex. Now, Liquitex have recently changed the name of this. It used to be called Gloss Medium and Varnish. Now it's just called Gloss Medium. Now, they haven't changed it at all. Um, they haven't changed the recipe. Now, this is one that I did years ago, and I used the same stuff. So, I mean, it looks beautiful. The shine is just the same as when I did it many, 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 many moons ago. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> so that's one that I did a long time ago and it still looks beautiful. So I just want to read to you what Liquitex have to say about their gloss medium. So the question to Liquitex was, um, I loved Liquitex gloss medium and varnish. Why did you change it? Is it a new formulation? And Liquitex reply with, no, it's the same formulation. We have simply changed the name to Liquitex Professional Gloss Medium. The reason we changed it is because we now have a full range of professional varnishes, which will give you a better result than using gloss medium to do both. Gloss medium is an excellent fluid medium, and we advise you to use one of our special, specialized varnishes with it. So that's what Liquitex is saying about it, um, because it's been, um, on social media about you shouldn't be using the gloss medium to varnish your canvases. Well, nothing's changed. They haven't changed it at all. They've just got a range of varnishes. As far as I can tell, this is what I think, um, they want you to buy both. That's fair enough. Nothing wrong with that. But I will continue to use gloss medium because I get brilliant results with it. I love the results I get. But I also use the high gloss varnish, so I get good results with that as well. So it's up to you what you use if you want to use the varnish or the gloss medium, which used to be called gloss medium and varnish. So nothing's changed as far as that's concerned. So I'll show you now how I've used this gloss medium because it's very, very easy to use. And as you can see, the re results are just beautiful. And in another video, later video, I'll record one um, where I use the high gloss varnish. But there's no streaks on there, no lines, just a beautiful finish and I love it. So now I'm gonna show you how I've finished these pieces with the gloss medium. I hope you enjoy it. Hello my lovelies, I wanted to do a quick video today to show you how I gloss my paintings with Liquitex Gloss Medium. Now I love this stuff, it's been quite hard to get hold of lately, so I only had a very small bottle of it, but I've managed to get hold of a big bottle, 946ml, which they've got on Amazon at the moment, so I'm really pleased about that. Um, so I'm using the gloss medium by Liquitex today and it's fantastic stuff so what I do is I put it in a little container and I mix it 50% of the Liquitex gloss medium and 50% water now I do use distilled water for this uh, mix it very very slowly you don't want to create bubbles and don't shake the bottle of the Liquitex because um, you don't want to be creating bubbles. So I just mix it very slowly. So I use um, distilled water because it's got no impurities and it's one of the few things I do use the distilled water for because I like to make sure that that top, top coat of the glaze is going to be perfect or as near perfect as we can possibly get it. So it doesn't take a lot of stirring in, but do scrape the bottom. I mean, it's not like resin. You don't have to make sure every little part is mixed together. Just give it a good 
mix in and that's done see how runny it is but it just works so well mixed 50 percent water and 50 percent liquitex now the next thing i do is i get a wet wipe baby wet wipe and i just wipe over my paintings obviously make sure they're nice and dry and just give them a nice wipe sides and edges a little bit will transfer onto the wet wipe but nothing to damage your painting just get all the, all the bits of dust off and any fingerprints anything like that so as you can see I've got five paintings here today and this is a fantastic way to do it so you can do it in a batch because you don't have to rush with it it's just so quick and easy to do so I've got a little popsicle to stick just to make sure it was level so put that back where we got it from just go over very quickly and the last one that's that done so that's that part and then what I do is just get a clean piece of kitchen tissue well this is my art tissue it's not um, kitchen it's the industrial type of stuff but it doesn't matter you can use whatever you want so just wipe that over just to get any dampness off from the wet wipe I found that this is the best way, for me anyway, everybody has different ways of doing things, but for me, this is the quickest and easiest and less hassle way of glazing your paintings. You can tip it on, you can tip this Liquitex on, um, you can put it on with a sponge, all sorts of ways, people all have their own different ways of doing things. So before you shout at me and say, no, don't do it like that, this is how I do it. You can do it however you want to do it, and lots of people have their own ideas, but I like to do it this way. Now I just use a piece of very old t-shirt material. This is a well-worn t-shirt, no bits of fluff in it at all. And this is one of Neil's, my husband Neil's um, old t-shirts. He doesn't mind me using it because it was an old one that was well past its best. So all we're going to do, we've got our Liquitex and water mixed. Oh, I can see a bit of fluff in that. Let me get that out. So I just use that little spoon because I couldn't find a cocktail stick and get that out. I might put on a bit of tissue. So. All we're going to do is get a cloth and dip it in, good coating, and then we're going to go across, 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 dip it in again, across, one swipe, across the edges, the edges and that's done for its first coat don't go backwards and forwards over it because you'll spoil the design the, the paint could smudge you just want to give one coat across so do it on this one across 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 dip it in again and go across and it, don't worry if you miss any spots because we'll get those on the next coat and around the edges and that's done for its first coat 
How easy is that? So obviously, like I say, that's its first coat. So we'll do a few more coats yet. Across, 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 dip it in, across, 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 and round the edges. Now I've still got these taped on the back and got my little push pins in, so it makes it a lot easier if you leave your tape on. So that's three already done for the first coat. And then the next one. One, two, three, dip it in. One, two, three, and round the edge. Done. So, next one, we're getting through them really quickly, aren't we? Next one is one, two, three, reload, one, two, three, and round the edge. Done. Now, it doesn't take long to dry at all. Probably give them 15 minutes in between coats. And then we can do our second coat. So I've given them about 10 minutes and they're all ready for our next coat. So what I do is dip it in the Liquitex. And this time I'm going to go the opposite direction. So I go one, two, three, four to the middle, dip it in again, and go one, two, three, four, and then round the edges. And that will get any parts that you missed on the first one, on the first coat, and then that will be nicely covered. You can see already it's getting a beautiful gloss on there. And on to the second one. Dip it in and go one, two, three, four. Dip it in again just all about overworking. Don't overwork it. There. Around the edges. And that's done for its second coat. I just think this is the simplest way and takes any stress out of it. It's easy to work with. I know a lot of people are worried about using resin, but this gives a beautiful effect without having to use resin. We don't have to resin every piece, do we? Done. Dip it in. One, two, three, four. Dip it in again. One, two, three, four. Around the edges. Done. And then the, the fifth one. Dip it in. One, two, three. Oh, now obviously I'm going one, two, three, four, 
<laughs> it depends what size yours is. You don't have to do four strokes. I'm just giving you an idea of, for this size, how I do them. So that's all five done for the second coat. Now I'm going to leave those now for 15 minutes and let them dry and then we'll do another coat. Might give them four coats. We'll see how they're looking, but at the moment they're looking beautiful. So I'll put my lid on. That'll keep in there lovely. These little pots will keep that all nice. So if you don't use it all up, you can keep it in these pots and use it for the next time. So back for the third coat. I've given them 15 minutes this time just to make sure that they're all nicely dry. So doing exactly the same. We don't have to be quite so careful this time because we're not going to smudge any of that paint. So we'll just give it a wipe over just the same as it did before. I've just given a little bit extra on the edges this time. And that's that one. It's got its third coat. And the same with all the others. How vibrant those colours are. Don't they look beautiful? extra on the edges. Make sure you get the corners. Done. Make sure there's no bubbles. I just I see a few bubbles there. I just like to pop them as I go along. Do tend to go with one layer this way and then the next layer that way just to make sure I don't miss any spots just gives a beautiful beautiful shiny finish Edges all nicely covered and those corners. See how you can just do a big batch of them? I mean, you could just do a huge big batch of as many painting as you want. And by the time you've finished and gone round them once, you can start to do them again all done in one fell swoop. I love it. Done. Second, that's the third coat done. So we're going to go ahead and do the final coat, which is the fourth coat. I think this will be the last one. Obviously you can put as many or as few layers on as you want. Um, but I think just one more layer will just be nice for this. So I'm going to go this way opposite way to I went last time. Now obviously this is the gloss Liquitex. Um, they also do a matte and a satin and lots of different variations so if you don't want the, the glossy one there's also a high gloss as well depending what sort of finish you want but I like this gloss and I think it just gives a beautiful finish. So for me, I think that's going to be the final coat. 
because I'm really happy how they're looking. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. Just a few little bubbles there. And that's that one done. I think they look stunning. I really like the effect from this Liquitex gloss medium. Um, I can't remember whether I mentioned it. I'll put it in my Amazon recommended products store, um, which is an affiliated link. Um, so I, it doesn't cost you any extra to use my links, but I do appreciate it if you do, because it all helps. So that's that one finished absolutely beautiful there's a few little couple bubbles there so just take that down again and that's done so as you can see nothing to worry about with this technique of finishing the canvases finishing our paintings it's very quick very easy and very cheap to do because there's still a lot of the medium in there and it just doesn't use very much at all. So very cost effective and very simple. That's what I like. And then your painting is all nicely protected. Just the edges to do on this one. And then we're all finished. See some little bubbles there. So always be watching to see if any little bits of fluff have managed to get in there. Put the lid on and that will keep that nice for next time. And then once that's all nicely dried, just take the pins out the back, take the tape off, and then we've got a nice clean back and it's finished. I've just put my stamp on the back and that's all finished. How beautiful does that look? That shine is just stunning. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and click the like button and click the little bell notification so you get notified when I bring out more videos. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.